In this next section for chapter 4, we're going to talk about rate of change. First, I want to talk about maximums. And a maximum on the graph is a point on the graph that has the greatest value output. So, for example, when we are looking at our concave down parabolas, we have maximums. And there are two types of maximums we can have. We can have a global or absolute maximum, and that's the point on the graph that has the greatest output out of all the possible points. Our other option is a local or a relative maximum, and that's the point on the graph that has the greatest output relative to the points immediately surrounding it. Let's look at a graph so we can get a clear understanding about the difference between these two. In the graph on the screen, we have two maximums. This first maximum is only a local maximum. And that's because it's the max point for this area of the graph. Whereas the second maximum is a global max. And that's because it's the highest point, or it has the greatest output for every single possible value on this graph. Hopefully you also saw that we have a minimum, and that is what we're going to talk about now. A minimum is a point on the graph that has the lowest value output. Again, we see that we can have either a global or absolute minimum, or a local or relative minimum. So we can look at another example. Let's make this graph a little bit more interesting. In the graph I drew, we see that we have three minimums. The lowest out of all of these minimums is the first one, so that's our global. Our other two minimums are our local mins. And we should also see that we have two max, both of which are only local max points. The reason these are only local max points is because my graph extends upward to infinity in both directions. So there is no global There we go. No global maximum for this graph. The third point I want to talk about is a point of inflection. And a point of inflection is where the graph changes concavity. And let's see. There we go. We have it down there. So there are a couple of things I want to talk about before we talk about what exactly concavity is. The first is an increasing versus a decreasing direction. For an increasing direction, that means that as the values of the input increase, the values of the output is also increasing. Essentially, the graph is going up. For a decreasing direction, that means that as the values of the input increase, the values of the output are decreasing. So the graph is going down. For example, here we see that we have a local min and a local max. Your minimum and your maximum points divide your graph into increasing and decreasing sections. So for the first part, we're decreasing, then we increase, and then we decrease again. 